Hello. Welcome. Yay, to we're live. And to our live. Hello, everybody who is here. It looks like we're in a room that's completely curtained. It is. That's <laughs> what you don't like about it. So yeah. we have a new backdrop for our, our live now. Megan actually brought a piece of real furniture. In we our, actually in our house. have a piece of furniture in our house. It's pretty amazing. Storage Oops. furniture. I mean, we have couches, but um, we got finally to the place in our little house renovation where we could bring in a piece of furniture. Yeah, it's great. But the windows look awfully black because it's dark here and we just covered them with curtains. So, Hello, you know. Rafaela. Yeah. So yeah, I like open the curtains, but then just see our, and then whoever's going by on the street can see us doing a live stream. So it was felt kind of funny. <laughs> Good evening, Sherry. On. Catherine, hi. Hello. Welcome everybody. Um. Oh, so um, tonight, if you're, or right now, if you're just starting the video, we're going to be talking about hi, Craig. the basics of using essential oils. Some of telling us they have no sound, but we have sound. Yeah, we can we see it sound. on our side. So. Check your check your speakers. That's very curious that there's no Let's sound. Let's see. Hello, hello, hello. I think there's sound, right? It's it's a little bit there. Can everyone else hear us, please? Tell us if you can. Sarah, hello. I think they can. KS, thank you. Heidi. Georgiana. Hi. Ah, KS, okay, oh, they hear us, so that's great. Anyways, check your speakers. <laughs> Grandma Chic. Dude, I saw this fest, and at first I'm like, whoa, that's totally 90s. And then I put it on, I'm like, I actually really like it. <laughs> it was like this, like best of power. She put it on like, yeah. So it, it is very, I feel like Blossom. Um, but the TV show Blossom. Yeah, it's like made of denim and I really like it. I wore it all day today. She's. <laughs> so it's like she's you. a kindergarten teacher. I, I like. did. I did feel like a teacher walking into the store today. Back back when teachers always wore vests that was like do i really want to go in and like get the vests that have like the seasons on them or like all the different things and i'm like obviously yes, yes I do. <laughs> that's that's the next if natural I could find step. one yes but it is also fun to grow out my hair yes. it's fun to have a little bit longer hair and not have to go to the hairdresser so often i like that, that. was my I least like favorite part. part of short hair it's like you got to go in like every six weeks that's annoying mostly to pay for really yeah. Um, <laughs> Anyways. So, hello, Nancy. Roberta, am I going to family vlog? I think you have vlog. Yes. Yes. Oh, wait. We're because we told them last time we we're going to do actual family. I one. know we didn't do it. We kind of didn't do that, but we are working on. We're editing right now the le most recent um, renovation vlog. Just took us a while to actually come to the project's like, not even done yeah over an to hour to do a like part footage. of it <laughs> yeah yeah but it's taking a while to get through all the editing what so. happened to september pies well i have one it'll itty bitty countertop to make i can't do it i i, I thought i'd be, be able to pull off september pies if the kitchen was done and the kitchen's not done i have you can't make pies on the folding tables and i only have this little countertop that's like two by four and you have the, the like the logistics of September pies looks pretty simple in a video, but it's actually very complicated to film a cooking video and like yeah. the equipment you need. And I just couldn't, I and couldn't have do the it. Space for everything. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Um, so like I just didn't have any space because you have to dedicate some of the space to film like your film equipment in your kitchen. And I just couldn't. So I Ra Rafaela said perhaps, you know, October or November done. pies. Um, we don't know exactly when we're going to get to the kitchen. It just kind of seems funny, but we're focusing on the family room right now, um, which is being. I think because the kitchen's more expensive. That's true. Because like it's not just building the cabinets, but you got to get countertops, and you that's expensive. It's really the countertops that I'm waiting on because it's like expensive. It's a big investment. So um, I'm like, well, this isn't as expensive, so I'll do this instead. Oh, look, someone's KS is making your tomato pie with that's their garden so tomatoes. That's so good, isn't it? That Man, is that's the best. so good. It, people, like when I first heard tomato, but it's so good. Not sick in a good way, like sick. sick. No, just sick. Um, But no, I, so I might have to be next year. There's just too many. And then we also took over Andrew's ghost walk. Oh, so yeah. this is a that's really taking... busy time for us. We have very few nights and days that aren't full. So it's been fun though. Like I don't want to. I don't want to complain because it's been full, but fun. Everything that we're doing, it's just. So if you're ever in Davidson, North Carolina, you should come to Davidson Ghost Walk and come visit us. Yeah. It's a fun tour. It's us. Um, okay. So 
this video is a little bit special because on the last week's video, last week's video, we told you that if you invited a friend or an acquaintance to come to this, that we would send you a free gift. So Do I don't they know have to be on the live stream. Yes. Okay. That was, that was my rule. They can't just watch it yeah. later. They have to be here right now. So, um, what we need you to do is somebody, somebody said the sound is really messed up. The sound is really messed up. Hmm. Hmm. How many people feel that way? Raise your hand. Genevieve is having a hard time hearing us. I'm doing a speed test, by the way. It's fine for me. Gino says, KS says, I hear fine. Our speed is plenty fine. So, sorry, I don't think Genevieve. It's on our maybe, end. maybe you're having something go on on your yeah, side. Yeah, sorry. Somebody um, said they had to close and reopen. Mine's okay. I got out and came back. So and it's some, good. Thank you, Lindsay. What? Um, I, and Emily oh. says she goes out and, and fixes it. Sorry, the. I'm not sure if it's YouTube or our internet or our computer, but yeah. it, it does seem to be a little bit glitchy on every one of them. I'm sorry. We have no other platform to work with right now. So but that's we it. We will soon enough. Um, anyway, so what I want to have happen is if you did invite a friend here to this, I want the friend to, to do a comment on the chat here What's your name? and tell us who sent you. Tell them who sent you. Right? Yeah. Tell, who, tell who them your large is. Marge sent you. And then... <laughs> And then we'll we'll send somebody to that person. However, this is getting more complicated. But the person who invited someone is going to need to email us and tell us what your address is so we can send it to you. So maybe I maybe I made this more complicated than it needed to be. But anyways, if you if you're a friend of someone who invited you to this, then name them in the chat here, and then that person will need to send us a, an email with their address. We may not have very many. It's okay. It's okay because we're amongst friends. Yeah, that's what's important. We've all grown so close over the last couple <laughs> months. So, um, okay, so today's class, it, we're going back to the basics of essential oils, kind of back to our first class we did back um, in early July, right? Yeah, yeah, time flies. So we're gonna go over some basics again. So you're welcome to ask questions or um, add your own comments. Like if you've had some experiences on your own, because a lot of people on here have used oils or are using oils. So you might have something to, to add, which is great. Awesome. So let's, let's start going. So did Genevieve figure it out? No, she, she can't make out a thing we're saying. Oh no, Genevieve. We're saying some amazing stuff too. So that's really sad. It's <laughs> tragic, really. Darn it. I hope she's reading this. If she can't hear us, she doesn't know what we're telling her to do. I know. That's why I can say anything. That's true. Okay, so what we're going to do is first we're going to talk about what essential oils are, how to use them, and then we're going to go over the, the 10, 10 basic oils. oils. We planned that ahead of time. Um, and we still didn't get it right. No. Uh, and that's how we're going to do this class. Yeah. So who who's going to do what? Um, do you want to um, talk first? Sure. As in talk the whole time? Yeah, so what are essential oils? Um, when I first started sharing oils, nobody knew what they were. They thought I was talking about something from the oil and gas in industry. Like, do you want to? And I have done like um, fairs or like expos. And I'm like, hey, would you like to try some oils? And everybody's like, no, <laughs> because they think they're oily. But in truth, essential right. oils, it's kind of a misnomer. They're not oily. They're not fatty. The They are the aromatic are you bored? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> They're the aromatic compounds found on plants. So we'll give it its aroma. Often people will say that the essential oils are like the immune system of a plant. They The plants create these um, chemicals to do different things for them, usually to protect them, to help them live longer, things along those lines. Um and they can be found in different parts of the plant. Some And some plants have almost no oil. And some mm. plants have tons of oil on them or a little bit more oily. They can be on the roots of a plant. They can be on the flowers and the leaves, on the stem, uh, the bark. on the bark or the rind. Or, there's all sorts of different places they come from. And in fact, if you have an expensive oil versus a cheap oil, usually that has to do with how much oil is on the plant so that you have to have so much more plant material mm. to make an, a bottle of oil. So it also, what plays into is where it's grown in the world and how, how long it takes before you can harvest it and things like that. Poor Craig. doesn't have any friends. 
<laughs> to come watch. That's no, okay. That's okay. <laughs> So how many of you, is there anybody here who is totally new to oils, doesn't, hasn't used doTERRA's oils yet? Just so Ooh. I know who we're talking with here. Or if we're just helping everybody who's already got oils kind of understand the basics again. They're going to have to admit that they haven't ever used them. Curious me, you don't have oils? Oh, curious me. So you're, new. you're just a little curious about oils. I was wondering. <laughs> Heidi, okay, okay, sweet. We have at least two. That's a good sign. Okay, Roberta. Okay, Gina. Gina's okay. never used them. Okay, this is good. Yeah, because okay. I didn't know if we're just if talking to everybody. If you're telling knows. Noah about Gina, the flood, it's okay. not quite as exciting. Okay, Beverly loves oils. She always uses lemon and orange. Um, Curious is just a follower of our family. Okay, okay. Well, we're glad you're here. Okay, so that's oils. That's what they are. Um, and they come from lots of different plants, but doTERRA has some criteria for what oils they want to use and definitely where they get them. So you want to look for oils and the oils that you typically are using, the essential oils you're using are oils that have chemical compounds in them that have no medicinal benefits, right? Like um, we know that certain compounds, like they help like monoterpenes, sesquiterpenes, phenols, things like that help with certain things if that's been discovered scientifically. And so the oils have those chemical compounds in them. And you would be surprised. You think like, what can lav lavender oil do? Well, that seems silly. It's just lavender. But first of all, when you distill an oil off a plant, so lavender has got lots of complexity to it, but when you distill the oil off, it becomes really, really potent, right? Because it's not just one lavender flower. It's thousands of lavender flowers distilled into the, the oil. oil. Yeah. yeah. And so lavender is like, everybody knows about lavender. We all know like, oh, it doesn't help you like sleep or relax or maybe something along those lines that's soothing for your skin. But lavender has of those chemical compounds that have medicinal benefits. It has over a thousand of those. It's wow. very complex. And so another thing that I think throws people off and they think snake oil, which is funny that it's oil, but um, they think, oh, it can't possibly do all those things when they see a list of everything that lavender oil does. They think like, was that just like made up? Is this just some sort of folk medicine? Like, uh, try lavender oil. But it's actually because we know what compounds are in lavender, which are over a thousand of these chemical compounds. And we know what those constituents are known to do medicinally. So that's where those lists come from when you look them up. So. Roberta says, my thing is it can be expensive. Yes. And it does seem expensive some of the time. So let's go back to lavender oil. I think a bottle of doTERRA's lavender oil is 20 something dollars. Something. But in each bottle of lavender oil is 250 drops. And you're literally using literally one to two drops at a time. And so you, it's so, it throws you off because maybe you're used to thinking of a, a bottle of juice or a bottle of medicine. And you think, well, that I'll use that up in a few days, but you don't. Hmm. I mean, I've had some of my bottles of oils for years. Unless you have lots of kids. Then you might be yes, that's them. true. But like some of them where I'm only using one to two drops every few months, obviously I've had them for years and they don't expire. I mean, they don't expire very quickly. So you can literally have most of your oils for the rest of your life and they will still be just as good as long as you're keeping them in a cool, dark place. Hmm. Um, and so like you're, Alaska. so if you buy a, like a skin cream for $30, that usually is used up in a couple of months, but your lavender should last you much, much longer, especially if you're just a couple of people using it. So now you do have to see it as you're sort of buying your medicine in bulk when you, if you were to get like a kit or something, it's mm -hmm. true, but you're sort of, it's sort of like, okay, I'm spending it now, but I get to use it for a long time. And so. that, and I think what the point of this class is and all of these classes that we've done is. I hate nothing more than getting someone excited enough and interested enough and confident enough to start with oils, but not confident enough to use them. Like I had, I, I had my first class back in June of 2011 or 10. I don't remember which one. I don't remember either. And um, maybe some of you would remember we've quizzed on it before, but, and I had somebody come and she bought some oils and was, Oh, I'm so excited. And then I went over to her house like six months later and I saw the kit of oil <laughs> sitting on top of her fridge unopened. Why is it always like, the top of the fridge? I know. That's where you put everything that you want to <laughs> use, but not yet. And I was so bummed. That's where I put my first oil that somebody shared with me and I didn't know how to use. And so we really teach these weekly classes so that not only will you get the oils, that's great because if you don't even have them, you know, but if you have them and you aren't using them, that's also very sad because then 
I feel bad that you got something you don't use and you feel bad that you got something you don't use. So hopefully we get you confident enough to show you how simple oils are because they really are simple. Totally. And I think they're cheap because if you're, you, if let's say you have something going on, even if you have, you know, free healthcare, well, I can't compete with free healthcare because it's free. It's <laughs> free. Right. But even if you have really cheap, something you pick up, um, I'm going to guess it's five to $10 to treat something, um, I can do that for literal pennies because I can use a couple drops of oil for a few days. And so I've used 10 to 12 drops. And I mean, that I, I can, I can beat it cost wise. Totally. And what I'm also doing is I'm giving my body something that's easy on it, that it knows how to work with. That's not creating side effects, mm. but it's actually giving my body side benefits because when I'm using lavender for one thing, there's all those other chemical compounds that are in there that are also helping out my body. And I know we're all so used to Western medicine that you think, oh, but what if some of those things are bad for me? It doesn't work that way. These are very natural, gentle, and safe alternatives um, that we interact with every day. So um, Melissa eight said she's heavy handed with her oils in her diffuser. Can there be any adverse effects in doing this? Well, so am I. Yeah, so I, am I. it's hard not to be in the diffuser. But no, there isn't. I, I don't think you could say there's any. I mean, I think just normal. Like uh, if you awesome. if you say like I, lentils are really good for you and then you eat a big bowl of lentil soup, I think you would know if you went too far. Oh, I know every time. <laughs> I know. Mike always goes too far. No. So what I'm saying is if you loaded it in your diffuser and it just was too much, you would know. It was too intense. Um, and I have done that before where it's like, Okay, that's a lot of cinnamon in the air in my house. That's a lot. But it isn't um, like carbon monoxide poisoning no. or something like that. It's not, it can't, it's not going to hurt you, no. but you know, whatever. So, yep. Okay, so there are. It's just, a, I guess the um, the adverse effects in doing that is you go through your oils a little bit faster. Yeah. Um, so should we get to the three ways to use yes. them? Yes. Okay. Any questions so far? We've had a couple. We've answered them. Okay, ask them good. You are reading them. And now yeah. I'll read them while you talk about the you three different do ways that. to use them. So you can use uh, well, three different ways. You can do aromatic, which is you smell it. There's some. We have some in the dis, this diffuser right here, right there. Mm -hmm. And that can, so you can put it in a diffuser. You can just put it on your hands and smell it. Some people put it on their chest and smell it. Um, bottoms of the feet and you can actually smell it. There's so, even jewelry you can buy to put oils on to oh, yeah. use throughout the day. Yeah, so aromatic is a great way to do it, especially if you're dealing with respiratory issues or mood issues. Oftentimes, aromatic is a way to do it. Um, there is topical. That means putting it on your skin. So you put it where it hurts. I use Deep Blue very regularly, which is a, which is a blend doTERRA has for aches and pains. And I put it right on my knees and my hip because mm -hmm. that's where I tend to feel it when I run. So that's pretty easy. Um, Got to be careful with topical. If you have sensitive skin, you, it's always a good idea to have a carrier oil around. This is an example of one, this fractionated coconut oil, which is coconut oil that's been uh, treated with heat and pressure so that it's liquid at room temperature and also has no coconut smell. It's also, it absorbs a little more quickly than raw coconut oil, so it won't stay as slick on your skin. Um, Greasy. But, Right. So you don't want that. So, but what this does, it will dilute the oil and make it absorb less quickly, slower. And so it won't hurt as much if it's spicy or maybe too cooling for you. Okay. The unique Irish guy said that he met us when we were in Ireland. Was that at Ikea? And oh my goodness. That was a long time ago. That was so long ago. I'm, a, I don't know. I'm impressed that you're on a here. Huge, right huge now. blessing of doing YouTube has been the very rare and few times where we've done meetups or we've met somebody in person and every time it's been a huge blessing and we've always been so impressed with the people that we meet and it's just like we always go away being like i can't believe we get to do this i don't know why <laughs> it's awesome yes awesome it there was an go. ikea we did a we, we did, did a doTERRA meetup in meet ikea up. i think was that our only one in all of our all of our europe travels yes we've only actually done like one other meetup. We haven't done that many, but we're, we have sometimes got when we reason I was asking is because when we got cool. to Ireland, one of our, one of our North and South friends invited us over to dinner. Oh, right. So we got off the ferry and we drove over to someone's house, which yeah, used to be a hotel. That. It was this big grand house and they fed us a delicious home cooked meal. Their big 
happy, That's true. super that kind family. Fun. And it's like, I can't believe that they are willing to do this for us. And then another time when we were in Dublin, somebody else had us over to yeah, dinner. Yeah, on our way out of town, we had dinner. It was like, Man. it'll make you totally believe in the world again because you just go into these strangers' home and they're so nice to you. And we felt like it was wild that we got that privilege. Lucky every time. Um, okay, we got sidetracked. Topical. Now, lastly, is internal. And that is obviously taking it internally through your mouth, typically. Or you could take it through your eye, I guess, if you wanted to. But I wouldn't recommend that. Um, no. Um, but that that is a little bit unique to doTERRA's oils because um, most oils out there off the shelf um, aren't going to be for internal use because they can't really uh, guarantee. guarantee what's in that bottle, whether it's going to be safe or not. Um, I will, Dare goes through the hard I will work show of you. making sure. Well, and Craig said that he, they're newer to oils, but they use the Italian cuisine oil for oh. their pasta the other night. We used the Mexican one. Um, snap. What? Oh, I thought you were saying. Like, I was like, oh, snap. Like, oh, that's so cool. You're such a cool, like, lingo I'm, young I'm guy. Hip with yeah. the new language. Um, no, we used the Mexican on, um, was it? What did we Some taco marinate? Bowls. Taco bowls, wasn't no, it? No, we yeah, I think we marinated butternut squash, didn't we? I don't know. I didn't do and it. And then we roasted it, it in the oven and we put those on our tacos. It was so good. It was so good. So doTERRA has three cuisine cooking oils. And so it's just them. one of the that's one of the many ways you can use your oils internally. But those are not one of the 10 basic oils we're going over tonight. <laughs> turns um, out. Turns out they're not the basics. So if it can be taken internally, we'll have the, the supplement facts on there, okay? And you can take it in a capsule. You can buy those empty little capsules, put some drops in, and then with water. You can put it in water and take it sublingually or under your tongue is fine as well. Or just straight in your mouth like normal. You can do that too. Mm -hmm. So okay, internal is another way. Yeah. Now, if it doesn't say, like, let's say on Deep Blue, what right? Oh. This doesn't have for internal use because it doesn't have the supplement facts on it. That doesn't mean that this oil isn't pure, like we said to others. It means that this is actually not either not formulated for internal use because this is for, like Mike said, it's topical. a soothing topical blend. Or there are a few oils that aren't. Shouldn't be taken. Yeah, internally. like um, wintergreen. Wintergreen. One of those. Yeah, which is in this blend. It's mm -hmm. the number one oil. Yeah. And so um, it's really simple. Most oils have those supplement facts on the side but if they don't just don't use them for internal use roberta really wants us to do a family blog so we're gonna have to do that uh another, no another question okay so that's the three ways to take it now we're gonna go over sort of the 10 basic oils that can cover a lot for you and are a good place to start let me just put okay. the kit back together let me show them. okay so there are two kits in doTERRA that both have the Let's 10 see. basic oils. Yes. And these oils are, here, wait, put that back on there. Oh, I got to put the whole yeah. thing back together. So, okay, hang on. This, and I've said this before, but this is not like, do you guys remember back in the day when you would buy like a, a movie collection, like Robert Redford films? Oh, the box sets. The box sets. And That's there would be like two that you, that were really good, or one that was really good. And then the other ones, you're like, what the, I've never heard of that. <laughs> like, I've never, and it's, you know, that sort of thing, right? Or like the CD stuff. That is not how it goes with these kits with doTERRA. It's not like we throw in a couple of expensive oils, but then the rest are just cheap oils that no, you'll never use. That is not how these are. These kits are formulated to give you the oils that you will, like, seriously, no matter what is happening, there's probably an oil in here that will help you because these are, like, the most useful oils, these 10, really. Mm. Most versatile, useful, and hitting the solutions that most people are looking for. So that's what that's my plug for these kits. They're both really, really great. These are not oils that you don't use. So this Ooh. is the Home Essentials Kit. There's another one called the Family Essentials Kit. I don't need to call it. I think I'm gonna do. look it up. Okay, so we always forget. it's the reason why we don't know is because originally it was called the Family Physician Kit. And then the FDA is like, mm, we don't like that word physician. So then we took it to Family Essentials or doTERRA did. You got busted. And Mike thinks it might have been changed one more time. Yeah, But true. they both have the same 10 oils in it. The Family Physician, no, Family Essentials or whatever it's called, has a smaller. Healthy Start Kit. Oh, Healthy Start Kit, and which is, a, it actually is a better name. Yeah. It has, it comes in a smaller package. You see that? See how small that is? Look, it can fit on the screen in my phone. <laughs> 
it's really hard to pull them out. So you might have to use tweezers. <laughs> you know? um, but it comes in instead of full size bottles. It's they're a third of the size. So Five instead of 250 15. drops, they have about 85. And that's just so that you can get all the same 10, but maybe get started a little lower. But you know what's really cool these days about these two kits is they both come with diffusers. It yeah. wasn't that way before. You guys, so you guys are you're lucky. You're so lucky. Doterra's coming through for you. Oh my goodness. So the fam the Healthy Start kit, the diffuser is more like a bedroom diffuser, meaning it doesn't maybe cover as many square area. feet. Yeah. It the uh Home Essentials kit, the shape has changed. Of the diffuser. Of the diffuser. Can you even see it there? Yeah. We got to get us a new right diffuser. Right there. Well, but this one works, so yeah, we just haven't gotten a new one. But we need to get that one to show you guys. But it's the same thing. It's just a different shape. That covers this the huge whole room. area. This whole expanse. Mm -hmm. hello, hello. Yes, hello. we live in a very large house. So I can say <laughs> with, I don't even know confidence. the word. Confidence. that no matter yes. how big your house, no, how palatial. That's right. No, I think this covers something like 400 square feet or something like, or 250 square feet. I don't remember. I can but, smell it. I never had a problem. Smells good. Okay, so we're going to go through those 10 oils now. Perfect. Drum, drum roll, please. Look. Okay. Okay, sorry. That's enough. I like lost my, I was a little gone there. <laughs> Comes like this. So if you wanted to, you could actually just put this in your cabinet. Careful. They kind of pop out. But it has this little shape. And this is very hard. We've had this for years. Years and years. Years. You can just set them in there like that and keep it in your cabinet that way if you want. This breathe is like empty. We gotta get another one out. We've had it for years. Yeah. Um, but we try to keep it so that we can show you guys. Um, we don't keep ours in here, but this is nice that you can just do that. Keep it in a drawer, laying down like this. And th what's nice about this is they won't move around because otherwise, there's plenty of. Oh, oh move. no! <laughs> I made a move. There's plenty of drawers in the North House house household that you open and oils are rolling around in there out. in the car too. Okay. Okay. So let's go over each of these oils let's and start. how to use them. Let's start with lavender because we've talked about it so much. Lavender, you're so popular. We were so excited to see you. So here's lavender oil. Um, smells super good. Um, one of the things you should know from doTERRA, this is so unique to doTERRA, so unique. They don't just say, hey, lavender is a good plant. Let's grow some lavender here wherever we can get some cheap land. That's not how it works. We source our oils from the soils that they are the most potent and have the right chemical compounds. Mm -hmm. And every batch of the oils from those farms that we have direct links to, we're not just buying it from some warehouse that has big vats right. of lavender oil. We're buying it directly from farmers. We test each batch and make sure it has all those chemical compounds so that when I get my lavender, not only does it smell the same, but it works the same every time. Every time. And so lavender is great for relaxation. You might put some on your hands and go. That's aromatic. Oh, you know, those times of day when you're just like, oh, or maybe you're sitting in traffic. <laughs> you're like serenity now. Mm -hmm. Somebody next to you is like, wow. Um, <laughs> smells super good. You can add it to your bathtub. You can rub it on your feet to help you go to bed at night. Maybe put it. I like to, if I'm using it at night, put it on my hands, smell it but also rub it on my pillows. Because remember, mm -hmm. one 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 to two drops is enough. Yeah, it's very so, strong. And then I'll do it for Mike's pillow too. Because, you know, She I helped like me out. You. Yeah, it's nice. Um, so that's lavender oil. It's also great for soothing your skin. It's also got some antihistamine properties. It's got all sorts of things. Um, next oil we're going to do is lemon. Lemon oil is from the rind of the lemon plant. So it's peel. And like lemon zest. The lemon fruit, not the lemon plant. And I used it just today making an apple crumble. Oh, yeah. And it that makes... was really good, too, by the way. Thank you. Should have recorded that. So I know. I'm not doing September pies on video, but I still made one today. We still get the benefits. Yeah, for the fam. Um, we should do minis, mini ones. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's too crazy in the kitchen. But lavender oil is incredibly uplifting. Um, as it is relaxing, it's clarifying for your skin. The only thing you want to make sure if, if you are using your skin is that you're going to stay out of the sun because it also will make you sun burn more easily for about mm -hmm. 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Um, but we use our lab lemon oil mostly for cleaning. Yep. It's great for homemade cleaners or just to put a couple drops on the surface and wipe it down yeah. and, uh, gives it a nice scent and also has some 
some cleansing properties. Yeah. If and you guys use lemon oil, tell us how you like to use it in the comments. Totally. Okay. Whoa. 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 Well, I will say this. Listen, one cool thing about doTERRA's bottles, I'm not sure if this is unique to doTERRA, but I can drop this oh, from the countertop. story building. <laughs> From the countertop to the high, the hard tile floor, it'll bounce, but it won't break. These these are like virtually indestructible. Yeah. These bottles, it's pretty yeah. awesome. Ooh, Melissa, Melissa likes it in her laundry soap for her whites. Keeps them sparkly. That's nice. That's a good idea. Le lemon oil and all citrus oils do this, but I do feel like lemon is best. It actually dissolves petrochemicals, um, so plastics and things. Um, or sticky stuff, sticky residues, because a lot of the times those glues are made with petrochemicals. And so, but I know that they say any citrus oil does it, but I do feel like my lemon does it better than my orange or it my does. grapefruit. Um, but also Definitely. that means that if you're putting lemon oil in, in your water, which it's going to make it taste yummy. It's a little sweeter than lemon juice, right? Because it's from the rind. It's not acidic, but it's also going to go through and you're going to have some of those residues on your cells. On your cell membrane when we're walking around town and we're inhaling like exhaust from the bus you know how bad that smells that's going in and getting stored in our fat cells and so drinking lemon oil in your water can help dissolve those so that you just flush them right on out so it's a great detoxifier too roberta makes homemade laundry soap and she puts good lavender work. in it yummy it is so good for sticky stuff yeah awesome okay the next oil we're going to go to is peppermint one drop of doTERRA's peppermint is so potent, it's equal to the same to 28 cups of peppermint tea. I feel like we're in an infomercial, right? When you did that, for some one drop <laughs> is so potent. They should have like we have 28 like cups of tea sitting out. Like. Whoa, you're right. <laughs> like it zooms that. out. Yeah, we need to do that next time. It's so good, so good. Never gets love, old. Yeah, a drop of peppermint, so uplifting. If you've got peppermint at home, you've got to do it. Do what? Put a drop of peppermint in your hand right now. It's so uplifting. So this is when an ink person class is better. Yeah, I know because we can pass them around and get them on your hands. If you're local or not local and you want to host a class, we'd love to come help you do that. Okay, so peppermint oil actually opens up your airways. You'll notice it if you do it. And let me teach you a little trick. And I'm gonna. What are we doing? Um, you're gonna put you put that drop on your hand. So you can kind of see there's still some there. Oh. I make a little tube. Well, this is with breathe, isn't it? I know, but I'm going to do it with peppermint okay. too. And then I put my hand in a cupping shape and I go like this. So there's still plenty of air coming through. What it does is, because essential oils naturally lift off into the air. They're very small, light compounds. That's why you smell them when you open the bottle. But when you do this, you're making sure they're not going anywhere else but into, you, into your lungs. Into your lungs. Jenny says she heard peppermint helps kids with fevers. It definitely reduces body temperature. So it can help with that. Um, well, and on your forehead, it'll definitely very feel, it'll feel cool. Yeah. Man, that feels really good when you do that. Yeah. It actually <laughs> increases your VO2 max. Did you know that? I did, actually. I will say uh, the other day on a run, I decided to try. I rubbed some on my upper. Your whiskers? My whiskers before I went for my run. I didn't know this. And I, I breathed some in and started to open up my airways. And it, I did feel like it helped. I haven't done it since. I think probably because I think I sweat it all off like within like minutes because it's really humid here. But so you can actually more your blood can become more oxygenated. Oxygenated. Exactly. I know what I'm talking about. Hey guys, just listen up. <laughs> listen up. You might learn some things. Peppermint oil may, helps your VO2 max increase. So more oxygen in your bloodstream, which means it's going to help you on your run. But it's also just going to help you feel more alert when you get into that afternoon slump. It might help if you are having a headache where you're just not getting enough oxygen to your brain. Um, a lot of people like to put peppermint on their neck and on their forehead to help with head discomfort, headaches, occasional headaches. And it's really great Tension. for that. Or on their, their temples. I just find it incredibly uplifting. Incredibly uplifting. We like to put these threes together for seasonal um, threats. Like, yeah. you know, like ragweed. Like pollen in the air and whatnot. Yeah. And we like to take a capsule of these three and feel like it's been awesome for us over the last decade. Um, but you can buy it now. So many people were doing that in doTERRA. They put it in a capsule for us. It's called Tri-Ease in a soft gel. That's what it's called so in you don't the have US to make market. Them. Yeah, headaches. Yes, just use that trio today, Sarah. Awesome. Sarah coming through in a pinch. Okay, the next, we're going through single oils first. The next one we're going to use is oregano oil. 
Oregano oh. oil is the spiciest oil that I think doTERRA has. Oh, totally. It's the most burny. It's so spicy and it's so potent. You My be friend who introduced us to oils, he his name is Jared, and Jared said he used he's always been pretty healthy and like used natural. What are you doing? I keep I'm wearing both suspenders and a vest today. You're suspenders up to hold on the my nerdiness. pants up. Yeah. <laughs> the nerd factor is the Mrs. Two. Claus. This is what Mrs. Claus wears in the summer. <laughs> um oh, that's cool. Jonah said that she used peppermint when she had a leg cramp in swimming. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, so our friend Jared, he had always used oregano oil and he would take spoonfuls of it to help like for his immunity, because oregano oil is very good to fight off. Um, to support your immune function. Yeah, and Let's to fight off anything icky or yucky, and it helps you get healthy a lot faster. And so he would take a spoonful of oregano oil from the health food store. And so when the first time somebody showed him doTERRA's oregano oil, he was like, oh, I love this stuff. And like, went, ah, into his mouth and like threw it back. And he said it was like, like he thought he was going to die. Because doTERRA oil is so potent. He was used to being able to take a spoonful and even one drop. I've tried it because he told me the story. It really feels like someone's putting like a cigarette out on your tongue. That happened to me once. It's not very comfortable. Yeah. Was it your, your mom that did that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Not funny. Not funny. Not true either. Not true either. It's not even close. His mom doesn't <laughs> smoke. Nobody ever put a cigarette out of Mike's mouth. Tom. Anyways. But how do we even know what it feels like if we're comparing it? It feels like something burning is on your tongue. Oh, okay. So, um, but I love my oregano oil. We've used it for a lot of things over the years. My mom anything, gave up smoking a long time ago. <laughs> anything, she would never. No. Yeah. Anything fungal, anything, um, w like our kids had that one thing where they have little bumps and there's like, there's nothing they can do about it, but oregano oil worked for us. Um, skin tags. Um, yeah, lots of things. Also, if you're new here, we have to be a little bit vague with what we're saying about what these can help you with because the FDA dictates what you're allowed to say when you're selling stuff that is health related. So yeah. we have to be a little bit, that's why I'm saying mostly quiet because Mike is always saying stuff we're not supposed to, keep, to say. I don't, I don't know how to not. I'm so. just like waiting for I'm them to come to our here. door and be like, yeah. yeah, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> you step in the car, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Put your hands up. Okay. You're not in trouble. <laughs> okay, Lindsay says oregano is the one I've been afraid to use anywhere but on the bottom of your feet. Yes. The thing that's great is sometimes- She's been using them on the bottom of your feet? Mm -hmm, she has. Oh, We've gotten really, really close. <laughs> it's been great. Thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> um, when- you often hear that you can put oils on the bottom of your feet and everybody asks why. First and foremost, your bottom of your feet are not sensitive, it turns out. So you can put oils on there that would be spicy in other parts of your body. Secondly, you do have large pores on the bottom of your feet and so it absorbs quickly and you can put socks on and nobody has to even know that you smell like a pizza, mm. like with oregano oil because it does smell like Italian food. That's true. Very delicious. But third, pizza, um, a lot of people believe that like your ner your nerves that end in your feet can also then go back and connect to different parts of your body. That's like foot zoning or reflexology. So a lot of times that people will use their oils on specific parts of their feet, hoping to hit specific systems of their body. So that's cool too. Yep. Let me Super smell good. that. Super good. That smells like it would hurt. Okay. The last, no, not the last. We got more. No, I was going to say the last single oil. Oh, okay. Still hasn't found anybody. Um, is tea tree oil from doTERRA or Melaleuca. Yeah. Um, this obviously, dude, everybody knows what tea tree is good for. Yeah, everybody knows the, that. Some basic things that everybody knows it's really good for your skin, um, whether that be like a pimple, a cold sore, a canker sore inside your mouth. It's awesome for also. A sore that all rhymed what you just a said. A sore throat, um, uh, ear, ear, um, Health, your, your problems. Your problems. We have definitely, when Does we have lots of young I? kids, we definitely have used lots of tea tree to help get over that without having to go to see anybody about okay, it. Okay, but let's say something it's about- good for your scalp. If you if you were using this for some issue that might be happening inside your ear or, or a child's ear, you don't drop, you don't put a drop in your ear. Because it turns out, we didn't know this until we started using oil. The inside of your ear is about as sensitive as- inside of your nose other very sensitive places. or like your not as much as your eye but it's there's actually turns out it's very sensitive in there yeah i didn't know this we didn't know this so we put some in andrew's ear right but he, you know what he let us know the problem he was having with his ear went away yeah it did burn for a bit <laughs> he screamed a little bit but the thing you do 
in that scenario is is put take a cotton ball tear off a little piece of it put a, like a drop maybe two on that piece of cotton ball and then just kind of put it on this outside part and the the fumes as it were will circulate in there and will actually take care of that chamber. issue you can also rub it around the the skull part right yeah right here. there where megan's showing um and that'll help and then if you have some oils can also help with it, with eye issues where it turns a different color that you don't want it to turn um and you can just kind of do this i can have a different color eye yeah you can put it like on the bone around your eye and now then even you, do this and yes, cup and yes. let it sort of and now if you were doing that and then, and but, if, but if you do this you won't be able to see so you got to be careful because you might run so into so if you were doing this so you know. <laughs> and um you were like whoa that's a little intense for me like i have peppermint on the end of my nose I would right use, now you do yeah i can feel it so i have some right here now and cold. it kind of hurts yeah so i just go like this with some coconut I'm sort oil. of panicking right now look there you go see that's oh how my you gosh do it. I, that's gotta be our thumbnail this doesn't have a smell <laughs> there's a picture of me from prom everybody's standing there Why are we talking about prom and right i happen to be going like this and they <laughs> caught it just like that <laughs> It's a great it picture. was legendary, legendary photo. You're and I was legend. like, yep, that's me. That's my that's beautiful you in a nutshell. My beautiful prom night. I'm going to try this because I have this peppermint oil right here now. That's a great one. EVS, oregano on the soft sole of your foot for reducing longevity of anything oh. icky going on. She did it for See, her kids EVS while they're asleep and can. on myself. What a treat. That's yes. fun. It is. It the is soft great. sole of your foot. Just absorbs right in. See, my whole foot is very soft, though, so I don't. Mike has don't the really know. softest feet. People don't he know that. He actually refuses to walk on them. He's <laughs> yeah. Kind of obsessed with keeping. I walk on my hands. <laughs> like that's all I do. Um, okay, the next, the last single oil of the night is frankincense. Frankincense is a seventy-dollar wholesale bottle of oil, so it's pretty awesome that you get it in both kits because it is expensive. But it's because it is such a complicated process to make oil from a, from frankincense trees it actually comes from the resin of a tree like um, your sap and they cut the tree and they can only cut it a little bit because they got to keep the tree healthy and they can only cut a particular tree like every three years or something like that they cut it they score the tree some of the resin will come out they come back they pull that resin off once it's hardened and then they distill the oil off of that resin mm. So it's very complicated. And these trees only grow like on the sides of cliffs and stuff like that. So, um, Craig, that's a great use for tea tree. Wait, yep. they grow on the sides of cliffs? Frankincense trees? They like grow in like these craggy, rocky, hard to I don't get think it's areas. on cliffs though. I watched a video. It was on the side of a Did cliff. Did they have to actually like, like rappel down to it? They had to like go around like this. Really? Wow. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That sounds cool. I saw a video. Okay. It then it must be true. Be true. <laughs> Okay, frankincense smells amazing. Smells like um, like a, I don't know, amazing. This is literally what baby Jesus got. It smells when like a frankincense When he got frankincense, tree. it's unlike, he, he, he probably got frankincense oil. They wouldn't give him the resin. And what the reason that? They, frankincense was given to baby Jesus is because it was so valuable, because it was so good for so many things, for your health, for um, your, skin. your skin, but also because it was used in the temple, mm. because it was also supposed to increase your connection to God. So it was kind of symbolic in that way too. Interesting. Just a little Bible lesson for Thank you guys. Thank you, Megan. Yeah. We're at Sunday school no. now. Um, but frankincense, I love using it on my skin. I feel like it really helps it to stay healthy. It also, it because it actually goes down and helps with inflammation on the cellular level. So as you age, your cells get inflamed. They get bothered. They don't work as well as they used to. Mine actually um, work better. I'm different than some people. And are. so you get, you age more quickly and lots of weird things happen. Weird things happen when your cells get inflamed. Um, your cells have all sorts of great mechanisms to stay healthy. And when they're not healthy, they just die. They like have a thing where it's like, dude, I'm sick. So I'm done. You just make some new cells. But when they don't die and they're doing weird things, it causes very serious illnesses a lot of the time. And so frankincense can help those cells get back on track. And remember, they need to die. Oh, for the, like illnesses that start with a C, maybe? Yeah. Okay. A big C. Um, frankincense, Sherry says, is her go to for her hip arthritis. It's very good for inflammation. It's just everybody should be using frankincense every day or a fr fairly, fairly regularly. Like whether you're putting, I know a lot of people will put a drop of, drop of frankincense under their tongue every day. Frankincense is in doTERRA supplements if you're taking those. 
I put it on my skin. Sometimes I'll put it under my tongue. I remember a great story from a friend. She was living in Eritrea, which is just south of Ethiopia. Her husband worked for the State Department. The U.S. State Department. Mm -hmm. And they did not have access to medical care in any close proximity. And just a lot of resources weren't there, but they had oils. And um, one day she came out and found her 18-month-old, like in a diaper only, with a bottle of frankincense. And she had poured the whole thing out all over her. And she was just like rubbing it in. And she was like, ah, frankincense oil is so expensive. She said, what I found interesting, though, was the next day, everybody in the family got super sick and was puking, everybody but her. And she's like, I totally believe that rubbing an entire bottle of frankincense oil all over her body is what kept her healthy. So that's what we recommend you do. Oh. Every day. Yes, you M R J R J Smith. Is it Heidi? I think it's Heidi. I think so. Said, could you add a drop of frankincense to deep no, blue rugs. before you use it to help with? Yes, you could. FDA won't come at you for talking about baby Jesus. I know they won't. I get I don't our know. Our next class the is FDA all is about baby Jesus. pretty strict these yeah. days. Um, Sarah says she takes a drop of frankincense sublingually every day. That's so smart. It's so good for you. And it also something Does that's- Does remember what that means? That means under your tongue. Yeah. Uh, something that's fascinating about frankincense is if you guys didn't know, there's actually a little like net around your brain. Um, that doesn't let a lot of things through, which is great. Your brain definitely has that. Yes, I have a very thick net. No, <laughs> it's the internet. No, um, <laughs> when you go and smell all that exhaust and it goes into your cells, it doesn't go to your brain because your brain is protected. It's called the brain blood barrier. It doesn't let large toxic chemicals in because it's only very, very fine chemicals can get into your brain. Mm -hmm. So there's only a few things that can cross the brain blood barrier and frankincense is one of them. And it's really good for brain health. So that's hard to say. We've heard some barrier. really, really, it was kind of sad because back in the wild west days of doTERRA, people could tell you all of the amazing things they were using their oils for. And we heard the most beautiful stories from other people like us in doTERRA, like my mom was in the hospital with this situation and we used this protocol of oils for this many days. So we, you know, we can't, we can't do that on the interwebs anymore. It's hard to find those stories. Yep. Darn government. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. Sort of. Daily Frankie, a dot behind my ear on the bony bit. So smart. So smart. How do you use your frankincense daily? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to the blends. So blends are oils blended together for a specific purpose. Okay. Um, lots of oils have crossover in the chemicals they have. I mean, there are a lot of the same chemicals in that are in lavender and other essential oils, just in different amounts, right? Um, and so when you take a bunch of oils that all have similar compounds, you put them together, they have, what is that called where something gets better? Um, synergy. Synergy. Sort of thing. Yes. And so like they work more really than well. the sum of their parts, yeah. as they say. So the first one we'll start with, since it's been mentioned several times, mm. is Mike's personal favorite. Yeah. Tell us, Mike, what this... Mike, tell them what they've won. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, Deep Blue comes in this little bottle, in this kit, um, but great for any type of aches and pains. Joints. Inflammation. Joint health. And I, I, like I said, I use it for knees and for hips. Um, because that's, I, when I run, those are the things and I, and I use it, I use it more now preventatively than I do to actually mm -hmm. treat something. So I've been awesome because you used to get injured all the time. Yeah. And actually, so this has helped a lot. I don't, I don't get injured as often because I'm, I'm constantly helping with the inflammation by putting the deep blue on. I don't do it every, every day, but I do it probably three or four times a week. Yeah. And it's really great. If you're after the shower, your pores are nice and open, put it on, you can really feel it. Feels feels strong, but anyways, this is this is easy. Just put it where it hurts. Um, it does come in a rub as well, like a a, a um, lotion sort of form and a tube. That's actually what I use because all I need is like a little dot of that stuff, and it goes a long ways. It lasts forever, so that's what I. Even on his disgusting hairy knees. It's true. It can get through the hair, <laughs> the thick hair. So if you have a husband or maybe you yourself the have thick hair on your knees. legs, it's fine. Yeah, you're no. good. Um, I don't really think they're disgusting. But they are hairy. Um, Melissa says that Deep Blue is the reason she can move in the morning. That's true. And That's Sarah true. says I've she seen loves Melissa the, in the morning. Yes. yes. Um, 
Anyways, um, it's late here. Sa- I know okay. Sarah says she loves a deep blue robe. So we're right there with you. Okay, next we're going to go to Digest Zen. Digest Zen is, can you guess? What is that for, I wonder? Our digestive blend. Mm. This is a, a mix of, um, what has it got in it? Mike, why don't you Fennel? read it to us? I'll read it. Because I, I can actually read. I know, I can't see small things. Okay. Peppermint, coriander, ginger, caraway, cardamom, fennel, star anise. Okay. Boom. Eve is That's very it. phlegmy and has a lot of, she's very acidic in her stomach. And so what we do for her, what we've, we've tried several different options, but what is finally we rested upon. I didn't reason I never tried this because I didn't think she'd be okay with it. Mm. I was trying to get her to take digestion in a capsule. She was always like, oh, like chewing on it and then like, ah, you know, and you're like, no, no, <laughs> no. So she wouldn't take it. Yes. Um, there's also digestive digestion, digestion capsules, chewables, oh, chewables that are like anti-acids. Right, right. Or antacids. Um, she liked those okay, but she didn't like how chalky they were because they have the baking soda in them. So what we're doing now is just putting in literally like a half an ounce of water. Yeah. Like shot glass, right? We have With lots of two shot drops of digestin in it. And she hits that back. Helps like immediately. It's awesome. So that's a good one lesson is if you're going to take your oil and water and your intent is to like, just take it as a medicine, not just like to make your water taste better. Just do a little bit. You don't need to put it in a full glass. Cause of- otherwise you're like, don't, 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 don't. Just a little bit you of water. It the hard way. So that's awesome. Uh, we rub it on our bellies. Um, in, in fact, Asher smelled it the other night when I was giving it to Eve and he's like, Oh, that brings back so many memories of puking. Um, <laughs> when you've got stomach stuff, because it also, those oils not only help internally, but they also help with the cramping. Um, and so putting it, actually rubbing it on your kids' bellies is so helpful. Mm. Good thinking. Yes. Melissa said the tablets can be a little dry, but they're amazing for my gallbladder flare-ups. Interesting. Sweet. Okay. We have two oils left. Are we ready? Are we almost done mm-hmm. here? Should I go get some of this so that it's not empty? What does it matter? They can't smell it anyways. I don't know. It's so funny. Breathe. It's like. That's a really old bottle. Like just a tiny bit in there. There's some in there. I can see it. Um, this is our respiratory blend. So definitely, if you have during the winter months, this help gets with out your a lot. airways opening up. You have some reason why they may not open up very well. Yeah. Just in, it's like a little inhaler in your hand. Yeah. So, I've heard of people putting breathe in their nebulizers. Um, you can definitely put it in your. Um, that sounds like something on Star Trek. Yeah. Nebulizer. You can definitely put it in the, uh, your diffuser and next to your bed at night to help you. I've heard of wives putting on husbands' pillows and that it helps a lot with their snoring. Why doesn't the husband just do it? Rubbing. That's the question. Because we don't do anything. That's an that's age-old why. question. Why don't husbands put the medicine why don't on they themselves? Take care of them? <laughs> Can't do because it. what would? What would, what would we be here for? That's if you did? true. You need you, a wife. You feel better doing you need a it, wife. so I let you do it. Yeah, you need a wife. Now you put the deep blue on your hairy knees. Your disgusting <laughs> hairy knees. I should start making you do that. That's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> Megan, <laughs> get you in are here. you up? <laughs> I need some deep blue on my knees <laughs> right now. Oh, that's nice. Nora said she just used breathe because she was exposed to a lot of dust today, and she feels better. She came over to our house. There's a lot of dust around here. Just yeah, kidding. we do. Um, this is true. And, and Melissa says, "Amen" from such a wife. So you can inhale that. You can put it on your chest. Just like treat it like Vicks Vapor Rub. You can do it that way. Um, we've heard many stories of people being able to open up their airways that had had a hard time doing that throughout their life. And not only were they able to open up their airways naturally, they actually mm-hmm. saw their airways health improve so they didn't need to do it anymore. Mm-hmm. I have a very close friend who was able to do that if you get my drift. Okay, and our final oil of the night. Oh, throw that. Is on guard. On guard. This is our protective blend. So let's. Somebody mentioned earlier putting oregano on the bottom of their feet to help the uh, shorten the duration when they were already sick. You could be doing. Did you notice know I just said sick? I said sick. <gasps> sick. Don't say the S word. We tired. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but you can put oregano on the bottom of your feet. Under your tongue. You said oregano. On guard. Is that what you meant to say? Yes. We definitely are diffusing this through the winter months or something similar to it because 
it helps you not, it's not only helps you shorten the duration, but it helps you not get sick. It's got clove oil in it. Smells and clove really oil is the highest in antioxidants of anything in the world. Okay, so the ORAC score. We right? all know that like eating fruits and vegetables and getting lots of antioxidants helps you not get sick. Even when you are exposed to stuff, you're if you are high in antioxidants, you don't get it. Your immune system is able to uh, what's it called? Repel this thing. So clove oil in the oregano in the it's almost ten. You're getting tired. Yeah. Clove oil in the on guard oil is the highest antioxidant count of anything in the world. So that's why it's one of the reasons why it can be so effective in preventing anything from stopping you. Anything. Ain't no stop. So when I get now. on an airplane, watch this. Whoa. Oh. Uh, yeah, went down your chin. I'm gonna is have that, a spicy chin now. That's what you do? I, yep, I, I do that. I literally just took some on guard. Oh, just come over here, Asher. Asher's taking on guard plus. Asher just took some <clears throat> You're not gonna be able to talk now. The on guard plus. Hey, hey, come, so Look this is this. the on guard in a capsule. Asher's um, feeling a little bit with a little under bit of weather. A couple other oils thrown in. So should have been using Thanks. the on guard. Good plug. So we use it in. It, we use on guard toothpaste. I want to get this in my mouth. Okay, I just then got don't, the slides. You can't watch in there though. You just got to focus. Don't watch on there. You did it. Sublingually spicy. It does make your mouth numb. The but clove. Clove was spicy, but then bit. it goes numb. Um, also, interesting other thing you can use for this. If you so have. If you put it in a spray bottle, you can spray it in a hey. perpetrator's eyes. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Um, if you have, um, pain in your brain from blood sugar issues, oh, this will actually help with that. Yeah. Mike, you said that problem. I forgot. Um, because I, it was mostly the cinnamon it helps with Naturally, regulate maybe. blood sugar, sugar, sugar. Anyway, so this is a good, cause people ask us about, you know, when you're occasional when, headaches when it, when it that are really, here. really, really bad. Yeah. So past tense, there are some oils that help with tension, like, uh, peppermint's good for tension situations. Yeah, whenever anybody asks us that uh, question, we say, well, why do you get them? Yeah. Do you know? And if it's tension, past tense, if it's from what you're if eating. If it's from like too much sugar, this is a good good option. Yeah, Mike Mike used to have blood sugar issues where he would, if he ate, remember that? I would always get headaches from, from eating. Because um, your blood sugar was always going like too this. Too much sugar, like on an empty stomach. I, I'm mostly preventative. I don't do that very often anymore because I, I figured but it out. But you could but stop it like that. So Jenny said on guard smells like Christmas and it does because it's got clove, Which cinnamon, is, and wild orange in it. That's really the main benefit of our kids on are guard. Roberta asked how our kids are doing. They're doing so great. They're doing great. So great. Um I should make a vlog. I you guys want to know why I didn't. Well No, let's not get into it. <laughs> I just sometimes we over the last few years have been as our kids get older, privacy has been even more important to us because they are starting out on their own or we're coming into their own and I want to let them just tell their own stories, you know, and um, we wanted to get away from, you know, um, putting them too much in at the, on the front lines. Mm -hmm. And so we don't do it as much as we used to. We've learned, I think all of us have gotten more savvy on the internet. So we've learned, <clears throat> but I know that they don't mind. Our kids are not asking for that. They would love to be on camera. <laughs> well, I think they're, I think they're sort of like, um, well, Eve definitely loves being on camera, but I think the rest of them are sort of neutral. They're neutral. Yeah. yeah. So, but we're like, well, you might not always feel neutral. So, no. um, but I'm okay. I'm comfortable with a small amount of having them on there, but that's why we well, have done that less and that. less. Okay. Any, that's qu all the oils. any questions? <laughs> David Pumpkins reference. Um, yeah, that's a great SNL skit if you haven't seen that one. So this is a great, this is a great collection of oils to get if you haven't started with oils yet and you're thinking about it you can either open a wholesale account with doTERRA which is like a costco membership you go to the link that's in the description of this video you click on it and then you go to the become a member tab up there and you could buy like a bottle of digestin and a bottle of frankincense and start your wholesale account which is free right now you wouldn't have to pay 35 dollars to start it but you can get a couple oils for the wholesale prices and get started or you can get a kit, which is the kit we talked about, the Family Essentials Kit, or the, um, uh, what was it called? Um, the Getting Started Kit. I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, if you do the Become a Member, it will give you the option to choose one of the kits. You can do that. So either way, 
you can get started with the oils and maybe just get the ones that you might, might need. If you have questions about what to get, you can email us, contact at northernsouth.com. We're happy to answer your questions as far as guiding you toward whatever you need. And then also, if you do get enrolled and you decide to open an account with us, we will email you, check in, and keep those communication lines open. So you're welcome to ask questions about anything. Okay. Um, Basic to Bold says, if you have time, could you explain why we need ultrasonic diffusers? I actually would. Um, there's two different kinds of a humidifier. I, I'm sure you've noticed this. If you use a humidifier and you were to put your oils in there, the water goes up and then goes pretty much right back down and makes the spot in front of it kind of wet. So that's not really going to get your oils into the air where you can inhale them. Then there's ultrasonic diffusers, which I use electricity mm. to make the particles really small so they lift off into the air and spread around the room. And those are great, but a nebulizing diffuser is even better because I don't know why. I don't really know why. I just know they're better. They disperse the oils more quickly than any other diffuser and create a much higher density of essential oils to air. Um, so I think either one is good. Ultrasonic diffusers, I guess. I don't know. I think they're both good, but they make the particles smaller. So they're actually in the air. So when you breathe them in, they actually go into your lungs instead of just being stuck in the water. Mm. So like if you get a really cheap one that doesn't nebulize or use ultrasonic vibrations to get it up into the air, you're not actually breathing it in. It's just going right back down and staying in the water molecules where they land. Mm -hmm. So those are the two reasons. And it is awesome to get oils into the air of your home, especially like my mom is very sensitive to mold. And so she is. She went through huge flooding in Houston. Mm. Remember those ten thousand year floods they had there just a few years back, which made mud. I mean, mold a huge problem. And she just got that diffuser running. And when the remediation guy came out, said they were they were clean, even though she had gotten two feet of water in her house, which is just insane. She also puts in her front load washer every once in a while. You could just add it to your wash as well. But like the what's great about these diffusers? But don't run it. Don't run yeah, the cycle while that. it's in there. But what's That's great right. about diffusers is the particles are so light that they're going to get actually sucked through your air systems. And maybe you won't even smell it anymore because it's so diluted. But it's even when you can't smell it, it even when it's that diluted, it's still doing its thing in the air, which is pretty awesome. So mm -hmm. it's a great way to keep your home, the surfaces, the air, um, the ducts, and all of that in your home. Like quack, quack. All no, those ducts. <laughs> Um, um joe asked, i'm not very good at explaining scientific things joe is wet asked which is better purchase kit or like two bottles well a kit, kit is definitely better if your intent is to actually get all those oils eventually it will be cheaper buying it through the kit because if you add up the individual costs of each of those oils it will be much more than putting them together in a kit but if you don't but if your budget doesn't allow for it obviously you then build you build your collection yeah you slowly. get a couple at a time you do that you can do that too yeah. You will pay the shipping as well. Um, on multiple each times of those, yeah. Now, one one thing that's cool is if you were to open up that account, get the two oils, and then you make a loyalty rewards program order, which we haven't really explained here, but it's kind of a, when you Frequent order, flyer. you get points back. So if you're going to buy more oils that way, if you're going to buy more oils, you definitely want to do it through the LRP program, which I'd be happy to explain to you if, you're, if you do that. But anyways, yes, so there's you can buy them and get the points and... Yeah. Natalie yeah. said the hand sanitizer, it's on guard. It's a spray is awesome. And she it has a great. five pack to keep in her car or purse and backpack. It's the best hand sanitizer. And we loved it. Hands, hands down. down. We use so that. So the toothpaste. We use that a lot. We could never go back. In fact, um, we didn't realize that the Peter was always had kind of redness and cracking around his mouth right here. Mm. We didn't know why it went away. Just thought he grew out of it. But then, um, when he got like free toothpaste from the dentist, he used that <laughs> and it came back immediately. And it was because he was using that and not the on guard toothpaste. It's supernatural. Darn you supernatural. Dentist. You could. Um, <laughs> supernatural. Super there you go. Um, you can. Well, that's for the ghost tour, Megan. Yes, keep I, that I'll there. keep that energy for that. Okay. But anyways, thanks, guys. Any questions? I know we've kept you a long time. They've, been, they've all asked pretty good questions the whole time. We've had some great comments too. Okay, I will mention one more time. I haven't actually pulled the trigger on this yet, but our friends are starting the social media company. It's awesome. It's it's called Good, G-U-U-D. And we're going to do it. live streams over there that are going to be about nothing. Like, we won't have to stay on topic. It's going to be like Seinfeld? It's going to just be like Google Hangouts, but it's oh. actually Good Hangouts, oh. where we can actually just 
maybe we'll have a topic, but like, it's just a chance for us all to get to know each other better. And there it'll be easier for me to see who you are because I do not like this and that I can't see that. Um, Oh, Melissa will put the on guard spray on the public toilet seats before she uses them. Very smart. I definitely wiped it. Well, anyways, I wiped the seats of toilet paper before I use them too. But I maybe should just be spraying them. I, I, anyways. I just take toilet paper, dip it in the water in the, in, in the bowl, and then wipe it oh, around. Oh, and, and Lindsay uses the mouthwash. Mike is the mouthwash. He uses the on guard mouthwash. I love the mouthwash so much. I love that he loves it. It makes me so. I mean, I like it too, but I never, but his breath is really good. <laughs> Okay. Yay. So if you want to get started, follow the link. Yeah, if you use the link below. I might add a couple links that go directly to each one of these kits, which makes it a little bit quicker and easier to if you want to just get a kit, it'll take you right to it and you can just fill out the thing. And then when when you sign up, we will get an email that'll do a chair will tell us, and then I'll reach out to you and say hi. And uh, you're welcome to ask any questions or anything That's like that. The great thing about getting started with us is Mike will reach out to you immediately, get you started, answer questions. We will continue having these classes because I do not want you to put those oils on top of your fridge and not use them. Yeah. I want you to feel the blessing that these plant oils are and how they're just they're they're created for us to use and to stay healthy with. So it's awesome. So um, we will have another class next week, same time, same place, same bad time, same everything. We don't know what it's going to be about yet. We we'll to announce Exciting. that. Exciting. We're going to think yeah. about it, and um, I think that's it. Right. Okay. Thanks, guys. If you have any questions, you can comment below. Send us an email. Contact North and South. We're happy to answer them. I Wait, Lin what did Lindsay say? Oh, she got the mouthwash from my recommendation. Yes. Okay. Wait a minute. Does this social media that you're talking about constantly to join? I don't, I don't know, know Roberta. We'll talk more about it in other videos, though, the social media thing. Okay? Oh, yes. Good. It doesn't cost anything to join. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, see ya. Okay, we'll Bye. see you later, guys. See ya.